We're starting today at the Mount Holyoke Range State Park at the Notch Visitor Center. We're going to go northbound about seven and a half miles and climb up two mountains. Woo! -hoo! Halfway up Mount Norwatuck, we got a little partial view here. This mountain that we just died hiking up. The white blazes, yeah, we just came down through there. Where you see the sunlight. <laughs> that was a little bit of a dicey scramble. This is Horse Caves. So we're hiking on the New England Trail today and we made an error in judgment on multiple levels. Neither of us looked, neither of us, neither of us properly looked over our map and there is no water and we have both the dogs with us and we were not carrying enough water. So. We have a bit of a problem to solve. I still got a little bit of water left. And I think we're gonna come up on a road in like a mile. But we definitely do not have enough water to get back to the car we have parked. So, how do you learn? Experience. How do you get experience? You know what Benjamin Franklin said? This is what I tell my kids. You get experience by... Making mistakes. Yeah. What about what Benjamin Franklin said? I don't know said. what Benjamin Franklin said. What did he say? It's, uh, experience keeps a dear school, but fools will learn in no other. Oh. Does that mean... You, did you just call me a fool? I called myself a fool. Maintainers. Trail right here has a bit of an enchanted forest vibe. <laughs> so, what did we find, Bradley? We found the fountain of life. Yeah. It was great. Yeah, you found it. I mean, it was spring in the ground, bubbling up. It was a little hard to get to, but it was well worth it. Cause look, peeing dogs. The dogs have water. We have plenty of water. We have plenty of water for the dogs for the rest of the hike. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Another month, and somebody's going to be enjoying a whole bunch of berries. Closing in on our last quarter mile of trail. This was a hard hike. Climbed about 2,000 feet in elevation. Over seven and a half miles, but most of that was in the first three and a half miles. 
and we made the mistake of not checking for water sources and then made the mistake of not bringing enough water. We prayed. I prayed for our dogs because they were severely dehydrated. They were really feeling it. And I prayed that God would provide something on top of a mountain, just like a, a little a little dip in a rock filled with water. And he did. It wasn't on top of the mountain. It was at the road crossing that we got to after the mountain. There was a ditch and it was full of water and it was good enough for the dogs. But we were also out of water. And God came through there too because Telemarketer went down the path a little bit, found a gully with a spring in it, which is amazing. We were both able to fill up. The dogs were able to get as much water as they wanted. And this could have gone a whole lot differently, but thank God we were able to complete this hike. You can be a seasoned backpacker and have all kinds of experience and still make those newbie mistakes. And that was definitely a dumb mistake on my part. I'll be better about that next time.